Planet of the Fakes, and Pig Star HH News. A 40-year-old Chicago police officer has killed himself. It's the fourth suicide this year on the force. A 17-year veteran of the Chicago Police Department apparently took his own life Monday, the fourth officer's suicide in 2019. Chicago, CNN, a 17-year veteran of the Chicago Police Department apparently took his own life Monday night becoming the force's fourth officer this year to die by suicide, police said. The name of the 40-year-old officer, who was assigned to Chicago's north side as aide to District Commander Michi. LLE Rubino, was to be released by the medical examiner later Tuesday, police spokesman Anthony Guglielmi said in a statement. The officer was off-duty at the time of his death. He was very well-liked, a friend to many on the department, the statement said. This was very unexpected and is hitting the district exceptionally hard. The Cook County Forest Preserve District is conducting the death investigation, Guglielmi said. Preliminary review indicates an apparent suicide. Debilitating news for the hashtag Chicagopolis family as we come to grips with the unthinkable loss of a dedicated police officer to suicide tonight, Guglielmi tweeted Monday night. Our deepest condolences to his family and prayers for his extended police family in the 24th District. Quote, patrols in the Rogers Park neighborhood will not be affected if colleagues of the officer are overcome with grief, Guglielmi said. Grief counselors were sent Monday night to the 24th District. Stigma of seeking mental health treatment. The department, which has one of the highest rates of police officer suicide in the nation, last year launched a communications campaign entitled, You Are Not Alone CPD, Guglielmi said in the statement. The department also offers a peer support network involving officers who have gone through similar struggles with depression or challenges with the job, the statement said. The New York Police Department has also been shaken by a spate of officer suicides. Of nine NYPD officer suicides in 2019, seven have happened since June, with Department Brass looking for ways to tell the rank and file that it's okay to ask for help. Over the past five years, the NYPD has averaged between four and five suicides a year, Police Commissioner James O'Neill said in June. At a news conference called after the department surpassed its annual average. Police officers and firefighters are more likely to die by suicide than in the line of duty, according to a 2018 study by the Ruderman Family Foundation, a Boston-based nonprofit that advocates for social justice. In 2017, there were at least 140 police officer suicides and 103 firefighter suicides, compared with 129 police officers and 93 firefighters who died in the line of duty, the study found. The study found that first responders failed to seek help because of the stigma of seeking mental health TREATM. Bent in a profession that prioritizes bravery and toughness. It also found of the 18,000 law enforcement agencies across the country, approximately 3-5% have suicide prevention training programs. CNN's Shimon Prokopez and Bryn Gingras contributed to this report. What were those black people doing when they were shot? If they would stop committing crimes they might stop getting shot. I get so sick of the racial thing because if they weren't out there committing the crimes then they would be home with their family. Police officers put their life on the line every day for all races. And every one of you out there that hate the cops, who is the first one you would call if you were needing help. I was married to a police officer 20 years ago and it's so obvious that people don't like them until they need them, it. That's totally ridiculous. I'm not saying that all cops are great and that there are none that are crooked cops because we all know that is true. But the large majority of them run to the shootings in trouble instead of run away from it to try to save people's lives and then all those people hate them for. Doing their jobs and being a lot braver than most of them would ever be. Life is so precious. And I am sorry that this man was going through so much and in pain that to get peace he ended his life. I believe that when he took the job as a protector of the people he wanted to be the people's superhero. But something went wrong. Then he became depressed and wanted out my condolences to the family and loved ones and friends for the loss you have suffered this man was some one child and I pray that we will think about his family in prayer. And I know that many people have been kiled by cop. But right now this is one of God creation. I didn't know this man but what I know about that he no longer her so please let us be careful what we say rest in peace young man. Most of officers have been in the service. And if you've been through like a lot of officers I have heard of going spending time in Iraq and kill 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 go back in and go to Iran and kill 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 and go in again to Afghanistan and do the same thing and now you want to become a police off. I sir, I don't think a person that has been so gun and kill happy should become a police, I'm sorry. Then what a lot of officers have to go through, then every six months to a year should go through a psychiatric test and see if they're still fit for their job. Part of the problem is the attitude that they have to deal with from the public every day they have to deal with the worst issues seeing kids raped people killed by others every crime that is out there most of the public think that they are worst scum than what they deal with. 
then they feel that because they are cops they have to be tough and can't ask for help. Asking for help when you need it in my book makes you real tough.